Aaron Pascucci back with Drink Junkie. Hello to all you Drink Junkies out there. Thanks for joining me today. YouTube, we are back with another episode of Drink Junkie. And in our continuing endeavor to diversify what we're doing, we are looking at a cocktail today. I am super excited to bring this to you. You can see it is a snowy day. We are based in upstate New York, and we just had a torrential snowstorm that turned into rain, and then it got cold again, and it is now sheet ice everywhere. One of my favorite things is ending my evening with a cocktail, a nightcap, if you will. And during the winter, I've got a couple beverages that I prefer. Today, we are gonna talk about the Irish coffee. Now, there are ways to make a bad Irish coffee. It'll get you through, but it's not gonna be as good as it could be. We are using a premium locally roasted coffee. We are going to use some Irish whiskey, and then we are going to use some brown sugar. What I don't have out is the key part, which is a lightly whipped cream. Irish coffee is said to have started in Shannon Airport around the 1940s. It was given to Americans coming over to Ireland to meet them with two of their favorite things, alcohol and coffee. Nice little caffeine kick for those getting off the long flight. And then, you know, a little nighttime beverage there. Most people these days know it as the key beverage at the Buena Vista. Now, one thing you might not know, and one thing that I prefer, is there is some psychological difference between the beverage you're drinking and its flavors and the container or glassware that you're using. I invested in a set of Irish coffee glasses and it just brings the experience up a level. Now, if you do any research online, you're going to notice that there is a different glass that is used. This glass is slightly different. It was the original development for the Irish coffee. Notice the long stem and the wide open mouth. The wide stem or long stem on the bottom is to avoid hot coffee in glass on your fingers. Makes a lot of sense, right? These guys I use have a handy, <laughs> have a handy. These guys have a nice handle and makes drinking an elevated experience. One of the key features of making this and choosing your glassware is you do want a narrow glass that is going to open slightly at the top what that is going to allow is for your cream to sit on top, the coffee and whiskey to come out the lip, and you'll get just a little bit of cream. It will be part of the perfect mixture for every sip. Today, for our whiskey, we are going to use Proper 12. Now, we are not going to get into the difference between Irish whiskey, bourbon, scotch, all of those guys because it is a very in-depth topic and the differences are very minor nuances. But since this is an Irish coffee, we are gonna use Irish whiskey today. It should be said that with this product and with this beverage, there is a lot of room for customization. You're gonna see in the way I brew the coffee that it's gonna to amount to a higher quality, more flavorful coffee the whipped cream I'm going to use is going to be slightly different and I'm going to specify some different options there for you. And then again, your sweetener, we're going to use brown sugar today, is an option for you as well. So you can have fun with this beverage. You can make it as low key as you want and easy to produce, or you can make it as high class and flavorful as you want. Either way, it's gonna be great for you. So, 
The first thing we're going to do when preparing this beverage is brew our coffee. Now I've mentioned my love for coffee. One of the key tricks to making great coffee at home is to measure out your coffee and know your ratio of ground coffee to water. We're going to measure out 42 grams of coffee. That's my standard brew in the morning. And you can see that I've got this nice scale here. It's not as high end as some, but it does the job and I really like it. It's got a timer and you can tear and turn it back to zero. It's got one tenth of a decimal point, which is great. I went over a little bit. I'm just going to pick some out. There you go. We are right at 42 grams of coffee that you need water to brew coffee. You need hot water. Since we are going to brew with a Chemex method, we're going to use a hot water kettle. As a coffee junkie, we are going to heat this water up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to take a couple minutes. I've got a nice display here. It's going to heat up. You can see here, we are approaching our target temperature. And now I'm going to take the 16 grams of coffee and I'm going to add 640 grams of water. Now you'll notice I'm pouring in a circular motion, wetting all the grounds. I'm going to try and make that even. You can see I pulled down all the fines from the side of the brewer and the filter there. And initially, I'm going to fill this up right away. So I've got my glass bowl. And since we are just making this for a YouTube video, I'm just going to drink this as well. I'm going to make a arbitrary amount of whipped cream. I don't need to serve a party. I don't need to save this or anything. So we're going to eyeball this a little bit. All right, guys, this is my favorite part. Now let's be realistic here. Once you make your whipped cream, unless you're having a party or something like that, you're not gonna pour it into a fancy container. So we're just going to assemble as you would if you were just making this for you, for you and someone else. All right, first thing, you are going to add a little bit of brown sugar. Now I do kind of half a teaspoon here just to give it a little bit of sweetness. You're then going to add a ounce or more Irish whiskey. Now, usually when I'm drinking these, I'm not looking to get too intoxicated. And honestly, I usually have more than one. So we're gonna add that in. Now, the reason I do it this way is the whiskey tends to start the dissolving process of the brown sugar. Now, the other reason we use brown sugar is it's got molasses in it. Now, we're just gonna add our coffee. And you wanna leave about an inch at the top of whatever glass you're doing. Now, at this point, since you don't wanna ruin the show that you're doing, especially if you got friends over, I'm going to give it a stir. Then you can do two things. Since we've made a whipped cream, a light whipped cream, this will float pretty well. If you really want to do it the way that the bartenders do, what you'll notice is they'll put their spoon here and pour it over the spoon. Now, I've done this a couple times, so I'm just going to put it up there 
And again, you've got a lot of room for customization here. Some people will use an espresso liqueur. Some people will make this with Bailey's. All right, and just like that, we're done. Now I'm gonna to get to video editing. We're gonna put all these clips together and I'm gonna have a nice Irish coffee. Now, if you got an idea for a beverage you'd like me to review or show you how I make, leave it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Really wanna make this channel work. Thanks, I'm out.